Greetings, greetings, greetings. It's Lisa. This is Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, it's a gorgeous day. But more importantly, how gorgeous do you feel? I am in this beautiful place called the Montage Hotel in Beverly Hills. And uh, I was here for a meeting and I thought, why not stay and do my Facebook Live from this beautiful, gorgeous place and then go home. Um, of course, the sounds, there's going to be a lot of other sounds and everything uh, in the background, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter because in life, there is so much sound and chatter in our life. Uh, chatter in our brain, chatter in the back of our mind. And we go through life with all this um, sounds and voices that we have. Some of them are positive, some of them are negative. And realizing that what you do with those voices and how you cope and how you silence some of the negativity from the inside is up to you. So as I sit back and relax, see this beautiful tree, this entire place is absolutely gorgeous. But how often do we tap within ourselves or look in the mirror to see how gorgeous we are? Today, think of it as the beginning of one day, that each and every day you begin to do so. So here's my question. How often do you say to yourself, stop the chatter and look at your, the mirror in front and say, I am beautiful, I matter, I am strong, I am all those beautiful things. How do you silence the chatter, the negative chatter within yourself? My name is Lisa Bubari. By trade, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant. So how do we change habits? How do we modify and edit behavior is by knowing that when something is no longer working for us, that's when we make the decision. This is not working and I'm ready to make that change. So in a way, hypnosis is a very simple and natural and easy way to do that. We go in and out of hypnosis every single day. When we are gaming, watching a game, either on TV or being at a place, we get mesmerized with that person. And when you get to that focused state, you go into that state. Um, in the background, yes, there is a lot of noise. And it doesn't really matter at this very moment. So at this very time that I am connected with you, I came over here for a networking. And you know what was the most beautiful things about the networking? Is meeting so many different people that are aware of yoga and mindfulness and the moment they hear about hypnosis, their eyes perk up and it's questioning, does it work? Yes, it does work. Here's why. One of the things that I do is evoke what was, it's my tagline, embrace what is and evolve to what will be. We go in and out of life every single day from the moment we wake up and we walk outside our door by putting on this title, by putting on a mask, by putting on the labels that we must perform or live up to. 
and it comes to a point that those labels become heavy and it becomes a mask, it becomes a front. But deep, in, deep inside yourself, I want to know, how do you cope with the pain? How do you cope with the guilt? How do you cope with the shame? And how do you package it or suppress it? The more you suppress, the more it is stuffing it inside. And as we stuff all that emotion inside, it's being packed inside our body and that's negative dense energy. And that is where I started this entire thing from. What does that voice in the back, the chatter say to you, right? How do you leverage living to the fullest in life for you? So as you sit back, think about, it's one of the things that I was talking about also, at one of the gentlemen, young guys here, when I asked them what he was doing, because this was all about networking, and he went into the story of how he has created this persona and persona, and then he had to explain about the persona instead of just simply saying what he did. So how much of a story do we create? Is the story to back up our titles and the front that we have? How much of you, the persona that you put in front is to appease or fit in for someone else to accept you? And when do you take off your mask? So a lot of people who have sleepless nights is because that's, you have so much of that burden, of that weight, of that energy, that you, or the energetic front that you have in front of you. And then when you sleep, that's, it takes a long time to wind down. Your mind is going, your body is trying to come from up there all the way to that place of calm and restfulness. So here's a technique. No matter what is happening around me, no matter what is happening around you, all the sounds, incorporate with this very moment and actually nothing at this very moment matters nothing matters to me being here with you nothing ought to matter to you because no matter where you go there's always people around you there's always things happening around you we are never ever alone even if you are by yourself you are not alone. You have you. You are surrounded by others, even if they're not sitting next to you. So know that there is this loving part of you that is also within you. And if it is not loving, it's about time for you to start giving it some love and appreciation. All the background chatter doesn't matter every single day we put on the masks we put on these labels we put on this face we do the makeups for women but when we come down to getting to know someone and breaking bread with them and we get to hear a little bit about them we realize how vulnerable we all are yeah we all have pain every single one of us has a story that has come through some kind of a pain to be at this power point to take control so today close your eyes 
and no matter what is happening, take a deep breath. And as you breathe in, breathe out, let go, exhale, and release all that it's no longer necessary. Take another nice deep breath and know that at this very moment you can let go of the pain, the hurt, the resentment, the chatter and focus only on who you are. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to be vulnerable. Because at the end, especially women and men, when we go to the doctor, when we go to the hospital, we only wear one scrub that they give us. We can't be more vulnerable than that, right? No jewelry, no bag, no title, none of that. It doesn't matter all the glory and the money that you have. It doesn't matter because you're going for your health. You're going to say, I want to feel better. And that's what it is. So Heal Talk Tuesdays is for you to learn how to talk to yourself more lovingly, appreciatively, so that you can heal within and know that at all times you have you. My name is Lisa Bubari. As a clinical hypnotherapist, I can help you make the change from the inside out and what I call mindset reset. To tap within yourself and know it's so easy to make that change. Raise the bar of self-esteem, build your confidence, and you can make that change. So as I'm sitting here, you have absolutely no idea what's going on. There is a producer over there talking to the agent. There is another high-end, apparently, actor walking around talking to his agent. There is another meeting happening in there. This is the world of the media. This is the world of entertainment. All the agents and actors and celebrities being around here, right? But what is everyone going after? See me, see you, recognize me, help me with one more thing to be or have, right? But we do that every single day with our loved ones. And sometimes the most beautiful thing is right in front of our eyes and we look beyond and not appreciate what's right there. And that's the person looking at you in the mirror, wanting you to see you, see you. Be the best celebrity. Be the best agent you've got. Be the backbone and that voice that empowers you. And if I can be of any change to help you make that change, subconsciously I'm here for you it's the same thing as when we have a lot of weight and we do all the exercises and diets and everything and uh, we have all that weight loss that happens even after uh, bariatric uh, surgery lap uh, lap band surgery and then a few months later there's people who gain the weight is because the emotional aspect, that little hole inside, the need, that hole that wants to be fed by the person is not filled. The self-esteem, right? So if that is not full, it's not loving, it's not protected, and it's not feeling good about himself or herself, no matter what is chopped away, no matter what they lose, they will go gain it back and bring it back because they think it's that self-preservation and protection they need. So today, I ask you,
to realize that you are a celebrity. You are. Be famous for yourself. Be loving to yourself. Be all that you want because you can. And it doesn't matter where you are, who you are with. At the end, remember, you're going to just wear one scrub to go to the doctor's office. Because when it comes to your health, when it comes to this incredible body of yours, appreciating it, accepting it, and saying, I am good enough, and I matter for who I am, everything else will fall into place. It will. It has to. It's the law of attraction. It is the law of universe. Just like that beautiful light right above me, right there. Right? Ah! <laughs> May the light shine upon you, no matter where you are. And feel you, surround you, and guide you to all the places you want to journey. If there is a pain, shame, hurt, and guilt that you are holding on to, that density, that negativity, if you're ready to let it go and make the change, I'm here for you. My name is Lisa Bubari, and through clinical hypnotherapy, and for you to help you tap within yourself. I can help you heal within. You can always find me on my website or message me right here. Hello, Lisa. Hi, Mandy. Hello, Andre. Hi, Sosi. Thank you for being a part of my Heal Talk Tuesdays because I truly appreciate you. Without you, I would not be here. And that is a gift. You are a gift. And holiday season, season, through hard times and sad times, blues times, I want you to know that you are never alone and I am here for you. So until next Tuesday, I bid you goodbye from this beautiful place called The Montage in Beverly Hills. I'm going to raise this and I'm going to turn around. Thank you for comforting words. Oh, you're welcome, Sosie John. You are welcome. And um, I, you know, next week I'm going to do something special, especially because of the holidays. And today I was here and I couldn't get into the car and do this in the car because I thought, what better way to do it than this gorgeous Christmas tree, right? <laughs> so I'm going to turn this around. There is not much happening in there except a few people and I don't know if I can show them. So I'm just going to close today's session and say thank you. Evoke what was in life. Embrace all that you are, all that there is in life, and let us all evolve together as one for our biggest desires and dreams become reality. You matter to me. Goodbye. And let's show you the Christmas tree. Isn't that beautiful? Yay! Blessings, blessings, blessings. Blessings to you all. Bye-bye.